Hey dude, it's 10 a.m. and I've been up all night, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to finally record my AI video. So let's go. What is this? It's an evolution simulator. It's based off of Carrie KH's Evolvio, uh, originally written in processing, but this one works in your browser. So the basics are the creatures can move around and eat the grass, and you can see that based on the color. So green is fully grown tiles, by the way the world's set in tiles, uh, and the brown is fully deplenished tiles with the yellowish green being in between, just like you'd see normal grass look if it was being eaten. The creatures can also choose to move, turn, uh, kill each other, and reproduce. Uh, they actually can't choose when to reproduce, they will only reproduce once they've hit a certain age and then a certain interval after that. They were able, able to choose in the past and that does work, but that made the simulation take unnecessarily long to get started because some creatures are stupid and won't reproduce. Right here is a species that I've had going for a few thousand days. Next up I'll show you a time lapse of a of a new species. But first. This is this is one of my favorite projects. I've been working on this project on and off for quite a while. This is honestly the most long-term project I've ever done. Uh, albeit not consistently. Um so please like the video if you liked. I would love to get it out there. Share it with someone that you think is interested, comment anything, uh, and most importantly, subscribe. You can see as this light blue species starts to populate, but then slowly dies out. Somehow it's maintaining a low population, but I'm sure it will die soon. A green species pops up. It's going much stronger than the light blue species. You can see the green species is multiplying exponentially. The blue species did die out, and now it is only the green species whose population is climbing slowly. You can see the main reason the green species is performing so well is because it turns away from the water. Uh, it tries to stay on the grass where it can eat. And you'll notice these dark brown trails around the edges 
start to form as the green species tracks the edge, but never goes off of it. You can see the green species population getting very large, even splitting off into a yellow species. Uh, which does die off, unfortunately. I forgot to mention this, um, there's a scent map, uh, the creatures produce scent. Uh, they can do it actively, but they also do it passively um, and uncontrollably. By the strength of these scent trails, I can tell you that I can tell you that these creatures are actively producing scent. Particularly red. Which is just a visual representation of one type of smell. Uh, there's actually three. Red, green, and blue. Which some of you may recognize uh, if you're a bit on the, the nerdier end. Um, but you don't have to be that nerdy. It's pretty common for people to understand that RGB are the colors that make up pixels on the screen. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Again, subscribe for more content like this. There will be more. I don't know how long it will take, but there will be more. Um... And I'll leave you with that.